Here is my new guitar pedal board. I've been putting together pedals over the last few months and finally finished uh, today. And we have 14 pedals on the top and two power source pedals on the bottom, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So I really have gone through and uh, went through and did a lot of research on the best reviewed pedals. And these ones, I have to say, I'm very, very happy with. Uh, it's sort of a pedal board that's been designed to do acoustic guitar and electric guitar. So you'll see that some of the versatility that this pedal board offers. As you can see, with so many pedals, routing is very, very important. Uh, so I did invest in the Mesa Highwire dual buffer and output boost. Uh, it's been highly recommended. So that sort of starts and ends my pedal board uh, chain. So after the Mesa Highwire buffer, I go to the Strymon Compadre and then to the Boss AD10 and then to the Vertex FX T-Drive. Next is the DOD Digitech FX 17 Wah Volume. And I've had that one for a long, long time. That's a, an old, old pedal, but it does work very nice and it's not too uh, big on the pedal board. Next, I go to the Strymon Mobius, the Strymon Timeline, the Strymon Big Sky, the Strymon Iridium, and then back to the Mesa High Wire. So underneath, I'll show you in a moment, I have the Strymon Zuma and the Ohi and the mounting kit for the Zuma. Also on the board, I have a few other items which are key. And the first one is the Disaster Area Gen 3 DMC4. And that helps me control the MIDI through the Strymon Big 3, the Big Sky Timeline and Mobius. Also on there, I have the Coda Stomp. And that is a Bluetooth page turner, which is great. Uh, if you're doing uh, some work with an iPad or and you need pages uh, changed uh, on a set, if you have your set there, that works great. I also have the Beat Buddy and the foot switch for the Beat Buddy, which works fabulous um, if you're doing some solo or duet work and you need some rhythmic accompaniment. And also on there, I have the multi switch for the Strymon, and that's connected to Compadre with uh, three of the favorite settings I have for the compressor there. Everything's been wired up with EBS premium gold flat patch cables and the right angle one seemed to fit great on the device uh, and work through the pedal board really, really well. So I'm really happy with that piece. And here you can see the MIDI cables connecting the Big Sky to the uh, in the timeline and the Mobius to the disaster area MIDI controller. Uh, the best... Um, pieces that I've also found is that I have the Boss 8010 acoustic preamp in there and that really helps with the guitar sounds. I like to keep the delay on and that has a tuner on there that is just excellent. And I'm using the Pedal Train Pedal Board Classic Pro and I also purchased uh, the Feet uh, to go with the Pedal Pro because when I bought the risers for the Strymon pedals on the top tier, you can see here the uh, risers just to boost up the pedals. Uh, it was a little bit harder to see, so I did uh, go online and just bought these uh, sh these folding legs that can mount the board up just a little higher, and it does make the board so usable. Underneath the pedal board, I have the Strymon Zuma and the Strymon Ohi. Uh, I did get the mounting brackets for the Zuma and it fits really nicely underneath the pedal board and the Ohi with some 3M tape uh, sticks really well and the power is just awesome with those two. Totally quiet even with the number of pedals I have on the board.